Hey, how's it going, you guys? It is Spydeco64 back here again with another NASCAR um, Authentics review slash rant. This is on a car that I saw one in person and Lionel decided just screw it, just screw it, screw Screw the diecast fans. We don't care about them. Well, I'm pretty sure Lionel does care, but they just... Their, Lionel is just terrible. But anyways, so obviously, you know, I'm reviewing Martrix Jr.'s Auto Club win. It comes right here with the race winner sticker and stuff. So now on to the rant. As you now look at this and tell me... What is the diff what is what's the big deal with this car? Well, what's this? What's this black? What's this plain black thingy going across go oh, right here? What's this plain thing here? What is that? What is that? Now you now if you guys would know that right here this there will be a five hour energy logo. And stuff like that. And there will be one right here. But. If you guys don't know. Apparently. Five Hour Energy. And also Monster Energy. Or any energy drink sponsors. Don't want their logos on the cars. Because they think. Oh the kids. You know. Stuff like that. Basically they censored everything. I mean Jesus. It's not like a male body part. Or anything like that. I mean seriously. Seriously. Seriously, but anyways, and the fact is that Lionel, I don't understand who, whose bright idea was there to put this car out in the NASCAR Authentics. I mean, if it has a five-hour energy logo, then don't put it. Don't put it. You could easily put another car in this wave. Like I don't know, what's another car you could have put? Chase Elliott's race win version. Or maybe a Kyle Busch race win version. Or someone else. And Lionel. You can't make a Martin Truex Jr. car. Because one. 5 Hour Energy or any other sponsor. They can't. Put it out. Because. Because. Oh, five, oh Energy Drink logo. We can't put that on our race cars. Which explains freaking why on every single NASCAR diecast that I have. There is no single Monster Energy logos on any of the cars. None of them, none of them have it, including the Kurt Busch cars. It's all, oh yeah, I bet you, I bet you my bottom butt that they're probably going to put out the Kurt Busch race, ver race win version from this year. Imagine this, it's just going to have a blank hood. It's just going to have, it's just going to be a blank hood. Hello, Lionel, get your head straight. Now, I'm not mad because they can't add any energy drink logos. It's just that why would Lionel put out a car that has energy drink logos? Why? It, I just do not understand. Honestly, honestly, Lionel. Honestly, Lionel. You're the worst diecast producer ever. Worst ever. And that is a fact. It's not... A, a biased opinion. It's a fact. It's a fact that you can't put out a good diecast war. One simple car. So yeah, and the fact, and also another thing is, this is a car that I watched win. I watched this car win in person. I watch it cross the finish line and Fontana. I, I watched it. Watched the cross finish line in Fontana. And Lionel ruins it. Wow, Lionel. Wow, Lionel. You are the best. I'm being sarcastic right here. Honestly, screw you guys. We need to... We really need to have another um, diecast producer. We really do. We desperately need to. We desperately need it. Because Lionel, I mean, they're just... Imagine it, man. Every car next year is going to be on the PTC mold. Every car is going to be on the PTC mold. 
And yeah, just to point a couple things out about the car, it's basically the same thing. Like the normal, like the normal car. And stuff. You know, I mean, it has confetti. You know, there's also contingency sponsors, Denver and Denver Mattress. And front furniture row. I almost said front row. <laughs> but yeah, just plain. Yeah, just a car with a bunch of Bass Pro Shops logo. And it basically looks unsponsored. Now, just to point out, guys, I will be ma I will be putting five hour. I will attempt to put five R and D logos right there because Lionel can't freaking do it. Honestly, a terrible diecast. Terrible, 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 terrible. Lionel, just I don't want you gone. I honestly don't care anymore about you guys, unless you guys can improve. I I don't know what to say. So sorry, um, um, you guys, you're terrible, terrible. Please just, please just stop making diecast. Well, you're not gonna stop making. Just stop before you get. Well, just stop putting out bad ones. And if you start just putting out bad ones and bad ones and bad ones, then screw, screw off. I ain't gonna buy anymore. At least the 124 scale cars are good. End of rant.